Hi Bumblebees! So this week we have an author study. Do you remember what the author's name is that we're learning about? His name is Todd Parr. Can you say Todd Parr? Todd Parr is an author and he is an illustrator. So the author does what? The author writes the words. So if the author writes the words, what does an illustrator do? They draw the pictures. So Todd Parr writes the words and draws the pictures in his books. Isn't that special? So today we're gonna to read another story from Todd Parr. And it's another book about families, since this week is all about families. So we're gonna learn about family members and some other things about families. So today this is the book we're gonna read. It's called The Feelings Book by Todd Parr. What are feelings? Let's begin. Sometimes I feel silly. Sometimes I feel cranky. Sometimes I feel scared. What's something that might make you scared? Sometimes I feel like standing on my head. Sometimes I feel like reading a book under the covers. Sometimes I feel like celebrating my birthday, even though it's not today. Sometimes I feel brave. Sometimes I feel like looking out the window all day. Sometimes I feel like dancing. Can you dance? Feel like dancing. Sometimes I feel like making mud pies. Sometimes I feel like I have a tummy ache. Oh no. Sometimes I feel like holding hands with a friend. Sometimes I feel lonely. Sometimes I feel like yelling really loud. Sometimes I feel like staying in the bathtub all day. Sometimes I feel like trying something new. What's something new that you would like to try? Sometimes I feel like dressing up. Sometimes I feel like doing nothing. Sometimes I feel like camping with my dog. Sometimes I feel like, what's he doing? Crying. What's something that makes you sad? Sometimes I feel like eating pizza for breakfast. Sometimes I feel like kissing a sea lion. Sometimes I feel like a king. No matter how you feel, don't keep your feelings to yourself. Share them with someone you love. Love, Todd. So Todd told us it's so important to share our feelings with someone you love. And someone you love might be someone in your family. So who are some people that are in your family? Take a moment and think about that. Who lives at home with you? So, you might have someone called a father. And another word for father is dad, right? Or you might have another nickname for your dad. And some of us have a mother or a mom. Some of us might have a grandfather or a grandmother and we might have special names that we call them. Some of us might have a brother or a sister and some of us might be an only child which means you don't have any siblings and some of us might have an uncle or an aunt but i have a question for you do we all have the same kinds of family members no and that what that's what makes us so unique and the word unique means different so we have different kinds of families which makes us so unique so either today or on Thursday, I'm going to meet with you in groups and you're going to be able to share who your family members are. Who lives at home with you? Who do you love? And now I want you to think about it. Who do you love? Who's a part of your family? And I want you to turn to them and tell them how you're feeling right now. So are you feeling happy, sad, mad, silly, excited? Think about all the different emotions we might feel and tell someone you love how you're feeling. And then comment down below, tell me how you're feeling. And I hope you're feeling happy or excited or silly. And if you're feeling otherwise, I'd love to know and hear why. Enjoy bumblebees.